Hi, I'm Heather. This is my husband Christopher in the background and we're going to be building you a dog house. This kind of looks like a dog cabin, but we're going to be featuring uh, Ondura products for the roofing. I've never gotten to use it before and I'm really excited to give it a try. First of all, we're going to cover some safety. So I'm going to get rid of my glasses and you're going to see my safety glasses. It's sunny in Southern California today, so sorry I'm going to have to rock these. They're safety glasses and sunglasses with UV protection. Hang on a sec and I'll take you on a tour. Okay, so basic safety. Gloves. But follow your equipment manufacturer's guidelines. Some things you should wear gloves with, some you shouldn't. Make sure you're safe. I'm just a hobby crafter. I'm not a pro. I'm not a contractor. So follow all your manufacturer's guidelines and all the product guidelines, okay? The other thing is hearing protection. So yes, mine are dusty because I use them a lot. You're also going to need good shoes because you might be walking around with nails. You're going to need to wear well-fitting clothing that's not going to get caught up in your equipment. And if you use any chemicals, obviously follow any respiratory, uh, vision protection, all that good stuff. Follow all the rules. Be safe, guys. It's no fun when you get hurt. Okay, hang on. Okay, some of the equipment you're going to need. Uh, I'm working with pallet wood, so I'm going to need a few extra, extra things because, well, pallet wood is not perfect. You're going to need uh, a corded or cordless screwdriver and a, and a drill, so I've got both here. You're going to need a selection of screws. You can use nails if you want, but I want it long-lasting because I'm thinking of a larger doghouse. I like my bench clean, so i got a brush. You're going to need some type of straight edge. I picked one that's longer than my project, so it makes it easier to work with. I need a pallet, uh, excuse me, I need a small planer for the pallet wood because it's not perfect. You can skip that if you buy good products. Utility knife, just for cleaning up edges and whatnot. Of course, you need a measuring tape because that's awesome. Hammer, a punch. This is for me to remove excess nails because I don't want my animals hurt. Uh, my husband's doing secret stuff with the washer, so that doesn't count. The other thing is if you're using pallets and you do not have to, you have to think safety because some pallets are chemically treated. You're going to be looking for the stamps on the wood and that HT in there, I hope you can see it. If not, I'll find you an image later. That shows heat treated. They're not using chemicals to protect it from bugs and other infestations. And other safety thinking about your animals. I've done a quick pre-sand with a just regular orbital sander and my sweet chair just to take down the rough edges, but I want this looking a little rustic. I want it to kind of look like a dog cabin. I've pushed down some of the nails with the punch. A couple of them I removed because they were sticking out too far. And sanded all along the edges because I don't want dogs getting their paws under there because you know they're nosy and they dig. And the other thing is I want to be able to seal it and the rougher it is, the harder it is to seal. So we're going to be using, I'm using a chop saw, miter saw, whatever you want to call it. So nothing fancy. Do not disable the guards, please. Later on, we'll be doing some plywood. So I'm going to need a table saw. And pardon my disorganization. It's been a rainy week, so I've been having to throw stuff in quick. But I have various little tools that help me out. Pencils, chisels, screwdrivers, all that kind of good stuff. So have your own assortment that you like. You can see I've got some of my wood drying ready for the project. And we'll get started. So I hope you enjoy this and I hope you guys give Ondura products a try. I'm really excited to give them a try myself. Okay guys, if you use pallet wood, you might have some problems with the wood being bowed. So an easy salt solution to it is just simply use a clamp, squeeze the bow out of it. And you know, sometimes this happens with the nice woods too. But if you can work with bad wood, you can certainly work with good wood. Okay, so here's what we've done so far. We've got the frame built. Now the frame doesn't count in the ultimate measurements, but we've now built the doghouse frame. Okay, so they're 36 inches from the bottom here, because remember this doesn't count, this is just flooring. So 36 inches tall, 36 inches front to back, because the framing and the, I mean the outer covering will come out beyond it. And we've got braces for the dog doors that we put in here. Now these guys, like the center posts, we had to use longer uh, screws. Four inch. Uh, we use four inch long suckers coming in from the top. The bottoms you can see are just screwed in 
from the outside, no big deal. But we, we tend to use screws because that way when big lazy dogs are flopping around and doing their thing, they don't push things apart. I also put a couple extra screws on the end here and on the end here to the frame to strengthen it up a little bit more because when I was sanding on it, I noticed it was flexing a little bit too much. I put those on there and it made it really tight to the frame. Nice. So there's where we're at so far. Now, can you adjust this if you want it shorter? Sure. But we're, we're planning on this uh, for being for larger dogs and they like to have a little bit of headroom. Otherwise, when they stand up and stretch, they conk their heads and that's not cool. Okay, so we're going to keep going. We're going to skip through a lot of the boring stuff, but this is our doghouse so far. Hello again in finally sunny California. Um, we've had a few days of torrential rain, so I've had to be working in my shed when it wasn't splashing indoors. So what I've done is just simply begun the siding. Well, I'm almost done with the siding finally. And I went ahead and miter cut it, cut it just because I thought it would look a lot nicer. I sanded the floors because I don't want a dog getting poked. So that came out pretty well. Um, I'll be finishing putting in the door today and then we'll be working on the roof. So that should be pretty fun. Hang in, hang in there for more stuff.